Very well, I think. So I'm going to take you to a really cool place. Yeah, what is it? Porto Marín. Porto Marín. Porto Marín. Es un pueblo que era muy importante en la Edad Media. A village, very important in the Middle Ages. Muy bien. Yeah. Era un sitio muy típico para los peregrinos, para reunirse. A meeting place for the pilgrims? Yeah, like okay. a chill place. Yeah, <laughs> place to hang out. And um, it's very cool because it's only in the 20th century that it's kind of disappeared underwater. Basically, you can only see bits of the bridge when it's a dry season and there's not so much rain. Which is now. Yeah, for example, great, so maybe great. we can peek a okay, little bit. Let's go see. Oh, no. How many people do you think have walked on this? Over time, oh my God, I would 900 be... years. A lot of people. Over 10 million served. Here we go again. <laughs> Stuck with the golden arches component of it. Oh please. So, uh, how far do you think we've actually gone? I think we've gone 1,211 kilometers. It feels more like about 35 <laughs> or 40 kilometers. Well, I'm really Which hungry. Which would be 20 more than Bittman did, I'm going to say. Yeah. I can guarantee it. Um, so what's our situation? Are now we're we going to go, go back eat? and cook with Maria. Great. You're going to learn how to cook all of the Clásica Cocina Gallega. What are we going to make? We're going to make capon. Okay. That's supposed to be really killer. I'm into it. Yeah, exactly. We'll give it a shot. And everything will be delicious. I really need to grind a pan con tomate on the way. Claudia and I happily hiked. Well, more like strolled the Camino. So how far is this ancient port? Pittman, it's been like, what, 95 kilometers? And you're already beating pickish impatience, eh? That's yeah, I'm train. tired. It was already going on late afternoon. So I was dead sure that Mario, just about the most competitive person in the world, would already be whisking Gwyneth back to the Casa Rural. He just had to win our so-called race and earn the right to cook with Maria. But Claudia and I were just fine leaving the cooking to the others. Gwyneth would get the capon started on what I knew would be at least a three-hour brace in local wine and Spanish brandy. Well, now that's the sound of a party. <laughs> a Mario-style party. That's right. Oh, that looks good. So the capon's 10 or 11 months old. It's about nine pounds. And it's big. The beauty of it is that yellow fat, in my opinion. What are we doing with our Between his lust for cooking and his love for women, Mario would no doubt be moved to tears to have the scene all to himself. That is the teariest onion I've touched in 10 years. Really? Are you my trying? eyes are going crazy. Oh. Don't worry, I won't leave you. You won't leave me. <laughs> That may flame up, GP, so just keep your eye out on oh, that. Oh, thanks. Jesus, well, now you tell me. As long as you're back away from it, it still may flame up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. There goes the insurance in the restaurant. Now we're going to put the greens in. Nice. That's my kind of world right there. Sauteed greens with a little lemon garlic. I'm a uh, hombre muy feliz. OK. Ready for the wine? I am ready for the wine. I'm half a bottle. Wine, exactly. baby. Okay. All right. So now that's going. Look at that rosy, the greens are going. Simmering oil. Now, bacala. Maria prepped another classic Gallegan recipe: salt cod slowly simmered in a bath of just warm olive oil. She'd serve it over a bed of greos, turnip greens, and sauce it with a light vinaigrette spiked with smoked paprika and roasted garlic. Oh, that's kind of my game. This is, ¿qué es? Ajo, pimentón, uh, aceite. Ajo frito, cebolla frita, perejil frito, un poquito de vinagre, pimentón. The smoked paprika from Spain and onion all cooked together and then they just take it off and then they strain it out. Wow. Here you go, try that. By now, I'll bet Bittman must be about halfway down the road or three quarters of the way. Wow. So we're making dinner for them. Oh, right. They finally dragged their buns in here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Perfect. Master Chef Gallega, Assistant Chef Gallego. 
the real chef. Okay? <laughs> I think, have to, I think that's called for a group hug. Oh. For Mario, it was nothing less than a love-in. Uh, I love group hugs. As for Claudia and me, we continued our heroic trek along the Camino. Claudia, 103 <laughs> kilometers. We have atoned for everybody's sins. Can we stop? Okay, Bitman, turn around and tell me if this was not worth it. Yeah, this is pretty great. Puerto Marin. Pues this is the old village of Puerto Marin. Puerto and as you can see, it was a village divided on the two sides of the river. And this is, by the way, this is the Rio Miño. Do you know it? It's one of the most important, if not the most, in Galicia. Uh -huh. Mira, Bitman, look in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the remains of the medieval bridge. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. Look at all the remains of the houses. You know, incredible everywhere. It's amazing. You know what, actually, there was one beautiful church which they moved piece by piece and reconstructed it to the new village. Piedra a piedra. Piedra a piedra. As we gaze down onto the broad bed of the Rio Minho, dotted with history going back to the Romans, I could only reflect on the enormous passage of time. Since my last meal. Uh, you know, this is all fine, this history lesson, but after walking that 103 kilometers, I am really hungry. Actually, Bitman, it was 10.3. I saw it in your little cupidometer. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> yes, let's. A little coastal action. Benvidos. Acambados. Look at all the women harvesting the mariscos. Wow, well, that looks great. You need a little cocktail sauce and you're in bed. <laughs> no, 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 that's the last thing I need. Who's gonna try one, ladies? If try it means one. I get to eat it, you can call me a lady. Wow. Yeah. Gracias. the best one. How did they have it? I want you to have the best one. The tall, so you have it. I'll have the best I one. I want you to have the best one. <laughs> If I didn't think it was hyperbola, I would say this was the best steamed clam I ever had. Hyperbola. It's Yiddish. Hyperbola. Want to know more about our most excellent road trip through Spain? For killer recipes, blog updates, travel tips, and a few wacky things we didn't show you on TV, visit us at SpainOnTheRoadAgain.com. Relive every episode with Spain, A Culinary Road Trip, The Companion Cookbook and Travel Guide. Mario chronicles an eating tour like no other with Gwyneth, Mark, and Claudia on a Spanish road trip of a lifetime. The volume features hundreds of striking color photos and more than 70 regional recipes. You can order by visiting SpainOnTheRoadAgain.com or call 800-260-8633. The price is $34.95. And remember, what happened in Spain didn't stay in Spain. On the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places that I've never been Seeing things that I may never see again I can't wait to get on the road again